Good afternoon, Stephenville. I am multimedia editor Erin Cooper here with your online on-time update for Wednesday, February 24th. Signs of yesterday's winter storm are quickly melting away today as temperatures rise above freezing. Coming in Thursday's edition of the ET are several stories you won't want to miss. Police Chief Roy Hassel has announced his retirement and the search for his successor is underway. Managing editor Sarah Vandenberg has the scoop. Friday will mark the end of early voting and the ET has the number of voters who have turned out so far. Michaela Gayen remains hospitalized at Cook Children's in Fort Worth and the ET has an update on her status tomorrow. And now, with 60 seconds of sports, here's sports editor Brad Keith. Everyone is getting ready to head to Alito tonight. The Stephenville Honeybees battling Mansfield Timberview at 6.30 p.m. in the regional quarterfinals. Coverage will be in the Thursday edition of the Empire Tribune. Also going up on the night, the Yellow Jackets visit Abilene Wiley and boys soccer action. That will be covered in the Friday paper. And an area high school boys basketball action. Huckabee and Lingleville begin playoff play tonight. Huckabee battles Panther Creek. Then Lingleville meets Zephyr at 6.30 and 8 p.m. at Gorman High School. You can check out the Friday edition of the Empire Tribune for all the details. Also, this just in from USA Today in the ESPN Division II Top 25 Women's Coaches Poll. The Tarleton State Texans are number 24 in the nation in basketball. The Texans and Texans will be at Angelo State on Saturday. This has been a look at your 60-second sports update. I'm Brad Keith. Good afternoon.